Do you need to delete your HubSpot account? To be honest, there could be several really valid reasons that the answer to that question would be yes. However, make sure it's very emphatic yes, because once you delete your account, well, it's going to be gone forever. Are you ready to learn how to delete your HubSpot account no matter what plan you have? Then hey, you know what time it is. Are you a HubSpot user looking for fun and interactive education that helps you be better at HubSpot? Then welcome to Sprocket Talk. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from SprocketTalk.com bringing you yet another HubSpot educational video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well for those instant notifications. Now, let's get into the good stuff or uh, maybe not so good stuff if you're trying to delete your HubSpot account. Okay, let's start with the easiest of the HubSpot deletion items, the free HubSpot CRM. If you're an admin user in the free HubSpot CRM tool, you can simply head to your HubSpot account name in the top right corner of your portal and then click a account and billing. Then in the product and service section, click delete account. You'll then be prompted to enter your HubSpot hub ID in order to confirm the deletion. Once you've entered your hub ID, click yes, delete to permanently delete your HubSpot account. Pro tip, if you don't see the option to delete your account, make sure you're an admin with sales access enabled under users and teams. By the way, stick around to the end of this video where I explain why deleting HubSpot might not be the best option for you. Let's move on to the Sales Hub Starter and Professional, Service Hub Professional and Marketing Hub Starter. Now to delete those types of accounts, again, you'll need admin privileges. In your HubSpot account, click your account name in the top right corner, then click account and billing in the products and services section, just like you did before. Click billing details for the service you want to then cancel. Then you'll click the auto renew switch to toggle it off. Then choose your cancellation reasons with any additional comments you want to add and click cancel my HubSpot account. You'll then receive a notice of non-renewal will be sent out after auto renewal has been toggled off. This this will include the commitment term of the HubSpot contract and the effective date of the HubSpot cancellation. Now the last level of deleting your HubSpot account is a bit more difficult, but that makes sense since you're taking a big jump here. If you have Marketing Hub Professional or Enterprise and are super admin and you are 100% sure that you want to delete your HubSpot account, then follow these next steps. In your HubSpot account, once again, click your account name in the top right hand corner. Then click account and billing in the products and services section. Click billing details for the service you want to cancel. Then click request cancellation. Your cancellation request will be sent to your customer success manager or CSM who will be in touch with you with next steps. Yes, you will have to interact with another human being to make this cancellation happen. A couple things you should know before deleting your account. One, if you cancel or downgrade a paid HubSpot account, know that you will continue to be charged for the duration of the commitment length in your HubSpot contract, which may differ from your billing frequency. The commitment length is the period of time that you have agreed to use and pay for a HubSpot subscription. The billing frequency is how often you have agreed to make payments to HubSpot within that time period. Number two, you should only delete if you are moving to a new service or your business is, well, how do I say this going down the tubes? No matter what, you need a place to store your data, AKA your lead intelligence. You need a way to communicate with your prospects, leads, and customers. So make sure you have moved your data and your assets to the new tool. Number three, on that same note, make sure you have exported all your pages, files, and other items that you may need depending on what your next steps are. Why should you not delete your HubSpot account? Don't delete it out of frustration. Don't delete it because you don't understand it. Don't delete it because you have not taken the time to educate yourself in all the nooks and crannies of the tool that can help you be more optimized and successful as a business. But if you've taken the time to learn it, if you're not heated or frustrated and you still have a valid reason to cancel your HubSpot account, then you know exactly what to do and exactly how to do it. Hey, did you like this video? Want to get more actionable sales, marketing, and service tips? If you're deleting your HubSpot account, maybe not. However, 
Are you ready to be part of the fastest growing community of HubSpot users on the planet? You might not delete your account after watching this video, so I'm gonna continue to go on. Then head over to sprockettalk.com, pick the package that's right for you, and keep on learning. Hey, if you'd like to watch some of our other videos as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well for instant notifications. And last but certainly not least, even if you're using HubSpot or not using HubSpot moving forward, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human, and along the way, do some happy HubSpotting or just be happy. Hey, we'll see you in the next video.